Okay, so today we're going to see uh, another uh, blog. Uh, it's called uh, Switch Backdrop to Options, right? There are a couple of here uh, options. Okay, so let's go over uh, what it is. So, um, first of all, uh, let's see what Backdrop is. So, Backdrop is uh, right here. It's called a stage background. Okay. So if you click here, you can see all the backdrop library. Okay, so we have all this uh, different background. Okay. Now let's go back, and right now if you click here, right, and you go to backdrops, right. So let me do this again. So if if you if you uh, if your uh, sprite is selected, you click on here and you can click on this tab backdrops as you can see you have only one backdrop right now okay which is white okay now you go back to library and as we have a fish in, on your stage I'm gonna pick something with uh, underwater so let's do this one uh, let's see okay so you can see now fish is underwater now I'm gonna add another one as well I'm gonna add another one number underwater 2 so underwater 1 underwater 2 and you can also add it from here as well okay underwater 3 so now we as you can see we have one two three four backdrops this white one we don't need it okay because white background doesn't do anything so now we have three backdrops in our list okay now let's uh, select your sprite which is in this case a fish go back to your script area now we have this block so we added a backdrop uh, uh, backdrops and now we can see how we can use this so this particular block is of uh, type looks and is of also type called stack stack means you can also attach any block uh, on the bottom of this as well as on the top of this right so it's called a stack so you can stack one block on a top of another block okay so now as we have multiple backdrops you can see underwater one underwater 2 underwater 3 and uh, let's go back uh, let's see which uh, right now uh, which uh, backdrop is selected so you go back to uh, click here backdrop on okay the first one is selected okay so now as we know okay, this is first one is selected uh, and we can go and check the second one and double click this uh, and plug and it will uh, so it will change to the very specific backdrop okay so this block is uh, used for uh, to select the uh, specific backdrop now let's select number underwater 3 double click and it will it will uh, turn into um, underwater 3 okay now let's see there are some another option next backdrop so what it does is it's keep changing so let's say you have three backdrops and right now this is a second one if I double click this guy it's going to go to the next one which is number three then number one number two number three number one number two number three right so it's just keep next 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 okay now you have another option called previous right now you are double click is go going back now three two one three two one three two one right okay so you can use this block to change your uh, backdrop to a specific one as well as you can go to the next backdrop or also you can go back to a previous backdrop okay now this is a very simple way to use this block now how can we uh, use this block so for example in your uh, animation in your story in your artwork in your game uh, let's talk about the game right so you uh, let's say in the level one game you need to have a 
different back, uh, 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 backdrops and level 2 you need a different backdrops and level 3 you need a third back, uh, uh, backdrops right so you can use uh, this particular block to change um, backdrop to the specific backdrop sometimes in a cartoon story you also need to change the backdrop uh, to the next to the next to the next right or sometimes you want if you if you uh, go back to the story you want to go the previous one right so this is how uh, this uh, block is used but yeah in a future tutorial we will see how can we use this in a real application so I hope uh, this tutorial helps you and uh, uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial